All right, Shalom. First, I can start by saying all praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Kakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles that rule well. And salutations to the brothers that's doing the truth and sincerity. Now, um, this is just an article on uh, what's going on with, um, uh, it says, heavy clashes as Saudi pushes and Hadayada repelled. And I think this yep, was in Yemen. Yeah, on the outskirts of Yemen. And, uh, you know, this is just showing that there's problems. A ceasefire will start from the day. Everywhere. You know, not just in America. The whole world is in uproar, uh, at the, you know, during this time that we're living in. So, I'm going to bring out this scripture first. This is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 5. Verse 7, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. Right. So you're supposed to come into this truth, you know, and learn this before uh, the destruction come. You know, you're not supposed to, you know, you know, you got people that pass by us and, you know, they might hear it. They might agree with it, but they're just, you know, continue moving and stuff, man. You know, you have people that's procrastinating on getting their salvation. So, you know, so to speak. But the Lord said, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come like a thief in the night. Because, because um, a lot of the prophecies are happening now. You know, we're just waiting for everything to, you know, turn up all the way, man. You got the RFID chip being pushed out on a small scale. You know, we're waiting for it to become mandatory. You got the wars that's going on in the Middle East. You know, we're waiting for them to like really turn, you know, the Lord to really turn that fire up on that on that war between Russia and America, you know. It says, um, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed. Right, you know, people out there comfortable, carefree, you know. Um you know, just living it up and stuff. They're not uh, worried about the Lord, you know, and they're going to be destroyed, you know. Are the Black Steins and Native Americans, man. It says, and perish in the day of vengeance. Right, because ultimately the day of vengeance is to destroy America, you know. And not only is America going to be hit by uh, thermonuclear missiles, you got other nations, including Israel, that's going to be hit by thermonuclear missiles. So I'm going to go ahead and, you know, read into this just a little bit on what's going on. It says, uh, heavy clashes as Saudi push in Hadaya, Hadai, Da, repel. It says, um, Saudi backed troops and mercenaries gathered near the outskirts of the western port city of Hadaya, Da, Yemen. Saudi airstrikes and fierce clashes have shaken the outskirts of Yemen's Hadayada, despite a United Nations brokered ceasefire that Yemenis already fear could collapse at any moment. Right. And uh, ceasefires have never been working with what's going on in any of these nations that's been in, in this war, uh, going to war, you know, all these proxy wars. The ceasefires have never been worked, have never worked. It says, uh, residents were hoping that the ceasefire reached in Sweden Thursday would provide them a respite after months of clashes, which have seen a push by Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates to seize the Dayada thwarted. It says, but heavy clashes, clashes broke out on the outskirts of Hadayada overnight. Following fresh attempts by Saudi and M M Emirati troops and their mercenaries to advance into the city amid uh, aerial bombings. And this is prophecy nonetheless, man. Take got everything uh, messed up with the Lord, man. They comfortable, they're in their security. You know, they're living it up, partaking in bread and circuses. But here, the whole world is at war.
This is Matthew chapter 24. Verse 6, it says, And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. And that's what's going on. This is a war right now. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Right. So, this is supposed to be happening. <clears throat> you know? And um, it's going to ramp up. The Lord going to have it to where it's, it's going to ramp up. It says... Um, the heavy clashes broke out on the outskirts of Hadiada overnight, following fresh attempts by Saudi and Emirati troops and their mercenaries to advance into the city amid aero bombings. A military source loyal to Yemen's former Saudi-backed regime told uh, AFP that at least 29 fighters, including 22 Hothais, had been killed. On Saturday night, he also claimed that seven Hothai fighters had been taken captive during an attack by pro-Saudi militants in Hadaya, Hadaya, Hudaida, I think that's how you said, province, province, the Rahimi uh, district. A Hudaida resident said the first fighting was fierce and that the sounds of fighter jets operated by Saudi Arabia and its allies could be heard throughout the night until Sunday morning. Straight war, man. Yemen's army, Yemen's army spokesman Brigadier Yahya Sare said on Saturday that dozens of Saudi Air raids had targeted residential neighborhoods across the impoverished country and dropped cluster bombs on citizens, farms, and Hidayada. It says in a statement carried by Yemen's official Saba news agency, Saray said Saudi mercenaries supported by heavy shelling of artillery and rockets had tried to infiltrate into the Rahimi from several directions. They tried to sneak into positions of our forces, but the army and popular committees responded, killing and wounding a number of them, he added. Right, man. So they it's they in an all out war, man. Why? Because it's biblical prophecy. That's the times we're living in. We're not living in a time of people being comfortable and people being at peace, man. It's Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1. To everything there is a season and a time to, to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. Right. And a lot of people over there dying. A time to kill and a time to heal. Right. And they over there getting killed. That's the time we're living in. A time to break down and a time to build up. I'm going to jump to verse 8. A time of love and a time of hate. A time of war and a time of peace. Right. We're living in a time of war, man. This is prophecy. There's, there's no... Um, we're not in a time of peace. The scriptures say uh, peace won't come until uh, the Lord basically put Israel back in their land, so to speak.
All right, this is uh, Isaiah chapter 2, verse 1. It says, The word that Isaiah the son of Amaz saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem, and it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall flow unto it. That's when uh, the Lord establishes uh, Israel, you know, in the kingdom of heaven. And many people shall go and say, Come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the power of Jacob. And he will teach us of his ways, right? We're going to teach these nations, the heathens, uh, the laws, statutes, and commandments, man. How to be upright. And we will walk in his paths, for out of Zion shall go forth the law. And the word of the Lord from Jerusalem, and he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares, and the swords is killing instruments, into plowshares, plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. Right? So when the kingdom of heaven come in, all these weapons and stuff that they have, um, Oh, that shit gonna be. Uh, uh, I think this, the Lord said uh, that, that they weapons were gonna be burned with fire, if I'm not mistaken. And there ain't gonna be no more wars. So we're living in a time of war right now, and soon to come, when the Lord reestablishes His people, we're gonna be in a time of peace. All right, just back to the article. It says um, later in the day. The coalition's jet fighters also launched new airstrikes on the Yemeni town of Beda, leaving three people, including two children, killed. The clashes came after Yemen's Hothai movement and the former Saudi ally regime agreed Thursday to cease fighting and withdraw their forces from Hadea, Hadea. Following week-long peace talks in Sweden. United Nations security, you see, we're in a time of war, man. They can't call a peace, man. Because they have to pay for what they did to the Black Stars, Native Americans, all, all these heathen nations. So there ain't going to be no such thing as calling peace. We're in a time of peace. I said United Nations Security General Antonio Guterres said he said the ceasefire agreed. Agreement would see a mutual redeployment of forces from the port and the city with the United Nations playing a leading role there to facilitate humanitarian access. The truce was the first significant breakthrough in Yemen's peace process, which is aimed at ending the Saudi war that has killed tens of thousands of people and pushed the country to the brink of famine. Right, because you got a lot of kids over there dying from uh, starvation. That's the time we're living there. That's what they get, man. And that's soon to come to America. <clears throat> um, let me go back to Matthew. Because uh, the precept for that one, this is uh, Matthew chapter 24, verse 7. It says, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence, and earthquakes in the diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows, right? So we're living in a sorrowful time. You know, a lot of people did die from famine because they didn't have any food because of the wars that's going on. Just think about what's going to happen uh, to America when they start, uh, when, when these uprisings kick off and they start to um, haul everybody off to the concentration camps and lock certain areas down. There's going to be all types of stuff going on uh, over here in America. But it says, um, however, Hathai chief negotiator Mohammed Abdul Salam said on Friday there was no sign that the Saudis were going to stop their aggression against the innocent people of Yemen. Yemen. Despite the ceasefire deal, Abdul Salam called on the Yemenis to remain vigilant, especially in Hadeda and to eyes or ties and continue supporting the Yemen Yemenite army and popular committees. 
On Sunday, a spokesperson for the Hatha leadership said the United Nations has set the uh, who who did uh, ceasefire date for December 18th. The Hatha has received a message from the United Nations setting the date to begin the ceasefire between the warring parties <clears throat> in the city of who died on December 18th. He told the high base Al Jazeera broadcaster. So, you know, it's a little bit left. Let me see. The chairman of the Supreme Revolutionary Committee of Yemen, Muhammad Ali al Hathai, said he hoped that the opposite side will observe the who did die truce. We hope that the U.S. saw the UA, UAE coalition, uh, United Arab Emirates uh, coalition, and its allies in Yemen will commit to the date of the ceasefire in the field as a beginning of ending the aggression. He tweeted on Saturday, who did die a lifeline for millions of Yemeni people is the entry point for the most of the country's commercial goods and vital aid. <clears throat> the port has seen some of the heaviest fighting in the four year Saudi war on Yemen. Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates launched their offensive against who they died in June, but they have faced a strong resistance put up by Yemeni armed forces led by the Hathais, as well as the city's residents. Right, so, you know, um, it's just some information on what's going on in the Middle East. Uh, the whole world is at war, man, you know. And the Lord killing a lot of them uh, Arabs off, man, them Ishmaelites off for what they did to the children of Israel. This is only happening because the, the kingdom of righteousness is on its way. So with that being said, I'll praise the Yahweh Shema Rishai, by Shema Karkadash, that my honors to the elders and apostles that rule well, and salutations to the brothers that's doing the truth and sincerity. Shalom.